never see other content creators contemplate what topic they talk about because, well, they're far more talented. Now, 5.2, ladies and gentlemen, is Conservative Incorporated is collapsing, or as I have it written right down here, Con Inc. is collapsing. A uh, variety of causes for this, but I'll mention a few. As Candace leaves the Daily Wire, as Jared, that's um, not gay Jared for those who are unaware, haunting Crowder because of all that situation, and the fact that these news outlets in alternative media, as well as on Fox News, are getting far lower viewership ratings uh, this year than they are this time in 2020. So it doesn't matter who you are, it seems, whether you're mainstream media or mainstream social media, you're all bleeding out. Now, given that you are an anarcho-capitalist, which is a very interesting word, we'll call you ANCAP for short, I take it you're not really a, a conservative fanboy. Oh, no, I, I used to be um, a liberal since uh, I grew up in New York, a very left-leaning place, and uh, I, I was definitely more of that, and I got, like, politically homeless, and the whole, like, COVID nonsense really woke me up. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I got those first two uh, jibby jabs, so I am vaccinated, so that makes me um, unsuitable, but it wouldn't How matter. Are you not dead? Oh, yeah, I, I got um I got lucky. Um, oh. I got, I got lucky. That, that's basically it. And it, it honestly doesn't matter with vaccine shedding anyway, I would have been exposed to the spike protein regardless. Um, but I, I, I shook it off. Uh, there's probably like nano kinase I've looked into. I, I should probably take some of that to break down the spike mm -hmm. protein that's still floating around in there. But if I get turbo cancer or if I suddenly die of a heart attack, it had nothing to do with that, okay? I, 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 it's, very, I, it's very strange you mentioned that, Joker, because yes. while you were speaking a, a good, I'd say, 20 minutes ago, I was uh, checking up on, on Twix, as I like to call it, and apparently a uh, uh, world-famous uh, streamer by the name of Ninja has skin cancer. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're going to see all these um, forms of cancer. But anyway, with... Um, Oh, I guess Big let's. Yeah, conservative let's get, incorporated. Conservative incorporated. Yeah, so I'm never a conservative. So I always, I never liked conservatives. I never um, jive with their message. They always, you know, say we want to conserve things, go back to the way America used to be, but they, they never really do anything. They're completely spineless and feckless. And this is why mm. Big Con is falling apart. This is why the Daily Wire is falling apart because the Daily Wire is basically a catch for people who. Um, check out from the mainstream media, even Fox News. So it's like, well, I know Fox News even is like the best of all the legacy networks and all mainstream media, all that is complete propaganda garbage I don't want to watch. Let me watch Daily Wire. And Daily Wire is basically just a little bit better than Fox News in terms of not being a propaganda mm. outlet. But it's a decent catch. And they've done some things that I think are genuinely good for the culture. Mm. I, I reviewed Lady Ballers on my Substack, so you can read that review. It's actually one of my best, uh, most engaged with posts uh, on mm. Substack is my Lady Ballers review. Um, but I, I like that movie. But if that movie was made in like 2005, it would have been another forgettable straight-to-DVD um, sit, um, sit not sitcom, but, you know, comedy movie. It wasn't That's really... Even Chagall film. That's how low yeah. standards have gotten, ladies and gentlemen. But I, I will say that I myself, I'm not a conservative-minded individual, despite the fact that I'm extremely controversial. I'm a nationalist. I believe in my nation. I believe in my people. I believe in my way of life. And uh, the reason I'm not a conservative-minded individual is very simple. What have they conserved? Yeah, nothing. Apart from their bank balances yeah. and the big profits of the corpo rats. Yeah, Most so conservatism that, that folks know isn't social. It's not cultural. It's money. These people worship money. Oh, yeah. Nothing more, nothing less. So, and here, here's, a, here's another interesting thing. So, this is something that um, there's another podcast I do every Wednesday. Uh, it's called Hump Day Potpourri, where me and my co host, um, the doctor, doc, Dr. 420, he's, uh, he's some stoner in Oregon that I just happened to meet and we do the show every week and we have a, we have a whale of a time. We're both anarcho-capitalists. So, um, we talk about these cultural and political issues from that. And one of these things that we talked about is that there was a recent court ruling 
where it was determined that undocumented or let's just say illegal immigrants are have the right to own guns, right? They, they have the right to arm themselves based on the Second Amendment. And you had all these conservatives up in arms um, saying that it's they're against it, right? But the idea is that the state, the government, no person guarantees your rights. You just inherently have your rights. And the Constitution is just an affirmation of that. So anyone can own guns, right? Whether you're, you know, some dude hopping the border from Guatemala or you're some, you know, white hick in Oklahoma. It's just that the state has put all these barriers for legal gun ownership that's conservatives say, you know, has to be in place, right? It's, you know, these legal good guys with guns that are going to save the country. Um, that's what they're they're marketing towards. They're not marketing towards the actual base position that firearm ownership is this inherent human right that people have, and the state has no business restricting it for literally anybody. Uh, and, and that means there are going to be issues, but those issues will resolve themselves where the people who arm themselves and have good upstanding moral character will take care of the ones who aren't. Right. And, and that's just, that's the way it's going to be. And especially for, uh, you know, you have all these um, violent and sexual crimes committed against women. They'd all go away if um, there was a mass movement for women to conceal and or open carry, and they knew how to um, defend themselves. Like all that stuff would go away overnight if well, that was I'll, a mass movement. But, I'll tell but, you this, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, Long live your libertarian paradise. I hope it does very well for you. Um, I, I, for one, I call myself a tyrant for a reason. Um, <laughs> because, well, folks, tyranny of the individual is the way to go. But none of that pussyfooting libertarianism, individuality, the strong rule from Alexander to Ptolemy, from Caesar to Napoleon, to the guy you can't really talk about because he's extremely controversial, to other uh, great visionary men, because women can't lead, of history. And that's the way I think. But look at me. I look like I've come from the 18th century. So who's going to take me seriously in a democratic world? But I will say, ladies and gentlemen, that one of the biggest problems with uh, conservatism, especially um, the big con, as Stephen Crowder put it, boy, oh boy, is he facing some controversy, uh, especially with a uh, not gay Jared returning to the fold, causing him some legal troubles. Uh, it, it just goes to show they haven't conserved anything. They're only out for themselves. And they're, they're economic conservatives. They're not social conservatives. They're not cultural conservatives. They just want their uh, bank books to be bigger. They don't care about the United States. They don't care about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. They simply care about a big, fat economy. doesn't matter how open the borders are. It doesn't matter where they get their slave labor from. It doesn't matter how many jobs patriotic uh, American nationalists lose. It's all about money especially when they have big noses. Uh, what do you think, Joker, about the Stephen Crowder situation with not gay Jared, or is that completely over your head? Uh, I, I mean, I'm aware that it's happening, but to me, Stephen Crowder is, um, like, he, he he's imploded onto himself mm -hmm. um, already with his divorce, and this is just the downward spiral continuing. That, that's that's my perspective on it. Um, with, with what I know is that, you know, he had this, you know, he went down on the downward spiral and it, mm -hmm. this is just it continuing because like you said, these um, conservatives are only concerned about conserving their bank accounts um, and getting social influence over people so they can use that to have that financial control. And that leads to stuff like this happening where mm -hmm. you're, you're just you just are abusive to the people in your personal per professional life and that has blowback on you and this is why not gay jared is coming against them this is why his wife divorced him and and you know we could argue all day about um who's in the right or whatever but clearly um with all this stuff that's happening stephen crowder has some bear to bl some blame to bear on his shoulders and that's because he's more concerned with pushing the big con message rather than having a principled position and just presenting that. Exactly. And Dempsey does make a, a fair point. That's why we appreciate his perspective. And it just goes to show hostile creative factions on, on steroids. It's a great job. We're not financially based here on reality based. We operate with a budget of zero. 
which absolutely terrifies economic conservatives. How can I exist? How can I function without a profit motive? How, you may ask, it's by being reality-based. Poor, but reality-based. I always make do. I even have, you know, paper curtains. Here you go. Have a look. Paper curtains. Save money. Buy food. But, uh, yeah, they are brown, but they are lighter than, than Atreus, so you can't yeah. call me racist. But, you do, uh, do yeah. all your shopping at Tesco? No, no, I got a delivery for a computer that was supposed to be, you know, my replacement for this, but it was yeah. too slow. Last time I buy a computer with a hard disk drive only. Um, so I just used all the packaging for curtains. Very you cheap. Know, you know, but I'm saying like you're you're on the cheap, so you do all your shopping at Tesco. I know that's the no, cheap. No, no, Iceland and farm foods. Okay. Close though. Yeah, it's too out of my way to go to Tesco. The only people who go to Tesco are folks that own a car. And I don't. Can't even drive. But oh. the point is, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I, I actually uh, I, I just bought a car um on Thursday. Oh, so. oh my, you're you're allowed to drive. That's yes. Yes, I, I I've been allowed to drive, and I I haven't died. The one accident I got into wasn't my fault. So, oh oh, uh, for some reason I've never bothered to drive. Maybe it's because I'll have a blooper moment and kill someone. Um, but uh, yeah yeah yeah, we gotta we gotta, you know, cut our budgets. We've got to live within our means, but we've also got to protect our people, our way of life what makes us who we are while welcoming the best and brightest all around the world, but making absolutely sure that our people stay on top. It's not racist if it's true, and the truth is reality-based. So, uh, yeah, best of luck to Ben Shapiro. Hopefully he will make loads of money for his uh, host nation, and hopefully Stephen Crowder survives all the uh, legal troubles he or his opponents are in. Thank goodness I will never get to that level. Fingers crossed. So on that note, 